find a way that maybe you could manage PTSD without medicalizing it, without giving them drugs. Uh, his wife was a uh, yoga teacher, so basically I think that's where the influence started from. So he was quite interested in yoga and how maybe we could uh, use sort of Eastern ways of thinking about things um, to help with, with mental health issues. So he kind of went exploring around uh, Thailand, and it's, it's very kind of uh, mindful, very much like mindfulness. And it's interesting to see that these two things, which are very, very similar, kind of came up at the same time. So probably goes a little bit further than mindfulness does, um, in that it's, it's a lot more kind of active um, if you actually do more things. Mindfulness is often about stepping back and just kind of looking at things and without judgment. Um, Sophrology do, does that as well, it's just that they also act on things, um, try and displace negativity and bring in positivity, and there are quite a few sort of phenomenological and also kind of CBT type things in there as well. It's quite a broad therapy. Um, it's very well used in France um, and Spain and Switzerland as well, but France seems to be the big one. Um, they use it a lot in oncology departments actually, in hospitals. So in things where you've got like uh, big life-changing things that are happening, they will also offer psychology um, through kind of na uh, national health, not national health insurance, but you know, the equivalent of kind of health insurance, um, to also manage stress and anxiety and stuff that's happening at the same time. They'll also offer it as birth preparation and that kind of thing. So it's, it's also kind of well-regarded and well-seen in France. Um, and I think the reason why it didn't come here was literally because it wasn't English speaking. Um, mindfulness grew up in an English speaking place and was taken over by the English speaking world. And sophrology came up from Spain and was quickly translated into French. <clears throat> and it seems to have stayed on mainland Europe and hasn't kind of made it over. But the last couple of years we've started to see a bit of a switch. So sophrology is now coming over here. We have the first sophrology academy in the UK. It's only been a couple of years old now. And mindfulness is now going over there. So it's kind of like, you know, it's, it, we're all swapping around now. Um, but yeah, so it does contain these, these elements of yoga and mindfulness and positive psychology. Um, so yeah, so this is something I want to explore um, a bit uh, in my research, but also I'm, I'm training to become a practitioner. Um, I'm quite conscious of the time, but I thought that we could potentially do a relaxation exercise. So if anyone wants to do it, does anyone want to do a relaxation exercise? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So there's something quite quite bizarre, not bizarre, but uh, about sophrology. So we're all about um, a sort of a calm and calm mind and a relaxed body. Uh, but we don't want you too relaxed, we don't want you to fall asleep. <laughs> so um, we tend to do things standing up. So we do, <laughs> which I know are crazy. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but it means that you can, it does mean that you can kind of do them anywhere. Um, like I, I tend to do it if I'm on a train or on a, on a tube, for example. It's, it does make life easier and you can kind of shut, shut your eyes and kind of switch off. Um, so what it is, is it's nothing, it's nothing new, it's nothing groundbreaking, it's all stuff that's been there before in yoga and stuff, but it's progressive relaxation and mindful, so you bring your attention to different parts of your body, but while in mindfulness you just bring your attention to it, you also actively work in the treatment of stress as you actually try and de-stress and get rid of the tension in those areas, while standing up. Um, obviously if you don't feel comfortable standing up, you don't have to, but it, it is sort of the way it's meant to be done. Um, and then we do, there's, there's kind of like a standard way of doing it, and it's, uh, there's lots of different exercises, they're all dynamic, um, but they're all designed to kind of relax you. And the way that you do that is you inhale, usually, and then you hold your breath for a while, and while you're holding your breath, you do something, you either tense your muscles, or you do some kind of movement, we're going to do shoulder something, because um, it's also slightly invigorating and relaxing at the same time. Um, uh, and then you exhale and you release and you let everything go. And the, the reason for this kind of tensing and then releasing is that first of all, it, it, uh, your muscles relax more after they've been tensed immediately. They just are slightly more relaxed than if you just try to relax from the state that you're in now. Uh, but also to really show you the difference between feeling slightly tense and relaxed. Um, so you learn that, so you can actually learn, okay, well that's what relaxation feels like and as you do it more and more, it means that you can relax those muscles more quickly. Um, so yeah, if you're happy to do it. If you, if you, you don't have to stand up, you don't have to stand up. <laughs> um, if I turn my microphone off, will you be able to, I'll just test it. Can you, can you hear me at the back of the if I take that off? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that alright? Can you hear me? So we're only going to do a short thing, so I'll do a body scan to begin with. Um, and then what I'll do is... Uh, immediately after the body scan, I'll ask you to tense your whole body. 
as much as you can. You breathe in, turn to your body, and then you um, breathe out and let go. Um, and then what we'll do after that is we'll breathe in, your shoulders go up, you hold your breath, and while your breath is being held, you pump your shoulders as vigorously or not as you want, and then you breathe out and you let go. Okay, we'll do that three times. Um, and we're, we're running out of time, so I'll, I'll just keep it short. And I promise <coughs> So um, what we tend to do is, we do tend to shut our eyes, so it's up to you if you, if you feel uncomfortable shutting your eyes, don't worry, but um, I, I find it quite good. Um, so yeah, so just to begin with, just, just notice how you're feeling, how your feet feel on the floor, and just take a moment to feel how you are in the room, and just notice your breath. Bring your attention gently to your breath as you breathe in and out. Totally naturally, don't force anything, just breathing in and out. And then slowly just bring your attention to your head. Just focus purely on your head. Just feel all those muscles in your forehead. And just feel them slowly let go become smoother and relaxed. And the muscles around your eyes, just letting them go. And your cheeks, and just making sure that your jaw is nice and relaxed. You might open your mouth slightly to open your jaw, just to unclench, just letting go of any tension that you hold. Now bringing your attention to your neck, just feeling all the muscles at the back of your neck and your throat, just loosen off slightly. Just enough tension to keep your head upright, but no more. Letting go of anything that you don't need. And your shoulders. Feel your shoulders dropping slightly, letting go of any of the tension that's there, letting that tension just roll away, melt away, down your arms, just letting go of each muscle as you go down your arms, your forearms, your hands, just letting any tension that's held there flow out of your fingertips, just letting it all go. Bringing your attention to your chest and your upper back. Maybe the rise and fall of your chest, the expansion of the volume here as you breathe in and out. Just letting go, letting go of anything that's held there. Moving down your abdomen, letting all of the tension that's held there go, just letting it all go, and your lower back, just feeling it, quite still, and relaxed. Moving to your pelvis, Your upper legs, just keeping the minimum amount of tension you need there to remain standing, but letting go of anything extra that you don't need. And again with your calves, bringing your attention down to your calves, and just letting go of anything. Feeling your feet on the ground, holding you up, feeling grounded, letting any tensions just flow out through the soles of your feet. Now 
just to gather up any additional tensions that we're still holding. We're going to take a breath in, and when we breathe in, you're going to tense all of your body. Hold your breath, and then when it feels comfortable for you, you let go of that breath, and you let go of all of that extra tension. So on the in-breath, hold, and your muscles tense for as long as you need to. Tensing everything, and then when you're ready, just letting go and breathing out. just take a moment now just to check in, see how you're feeling, see how your body feels, how you feel within your body. Just noticing with no judgment how you feel. So we're now going to do some shoulder pumping. So we're going to breathe in. Hold your breath, and when you're holding your breath, you'll pump your shoulders up and down. And when you're ready to breathe out, breathe out, and just let it go. Do that again. So breathe in. Holding the breath and pumping. And then when you're ready, Once more in your own time, so when you're ready to breathe in, holding your breath and pumping. Again, just take a moment to, to check in. How do you feel now? How do your shoulders feel? Do they feel different from before? Just noticing again without judgment, maybe they feel different, maybe they don't. Whatever you feel is absolutely fine. Just trying to feel relaxed. Noticing your body without judgment. And then finally, I want you to think of a positive quality. It can be absolutely anything. Just think about something that you could do with now, whether that's being calm, whether it's being relaxed, whether it's confidence, um, whatever that, that thing might be. It can be abstract as well, whether it's warmth or sunshine or something, something that's positive and meaningful to you, something that will make you feel good right now, whatever you need. Just try and think of something. And what I want you to do is just bring your attention to your breath breathing totally normally, whatever's right for you. But on every breath in, you're going to breathe in that quality, whatever it is. And every time you breathe out, you're just going to feel that quality, visualize, imagine that quality spreading through your body and just settling there. So whatever is right for you, breathing in, just feeling it permeate every cell in your body, spread through. Imagining that positive quality filling you up, making you feel good. And every out breath is just spreading through, filling you from head to toe with whatever it is that you need right now. Again, take a moment now and just notice how you're feeling in your body, how you're feeling in your mind. Just take stock, just notice it without judgment, just take a moment to notice how you're feeling.
when you're ready, open your eyes if you've got them closed. Maybe rub your hands together if you're feeling a bit, a bit relaxed. Shake, shake your hands, rub your legs, rub your face if you're feeling a bit sleepy. And just come back to the room, feeling happy, or positive, hopefully, <laughs> and a little bit less stressed. So how did, was that okay? Did that make you guys feel a little bit? <laughs> That's just, so it's very, I mean, if you practice mindfulness, uh, if you to practice mindfulness, you might be able to see that it's quite similar, but we do, for this specific exercise, it's specifically designed to tackle stress, particularly physical stress in the shoulders, and sort of trying to, trying to get you to, to notice the difference between a slightly tense body, which is not where we normally are, and then a quite relaxed body after the body scan. And the idea is that you go, so that's been that was just under 10 minutes, that was it's not an awful lot of time, but it can, it can help a lot, just kind of de-stress you. You can do it faster, the more you do it, the faster you can go, and the more uh, able you are to notice that difference between being in a slightly tense state and a relaxed state. You can go through the body scan quite quickly, it doesn't take me that long now, so I'll just do it on my own and kind of boom, 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 relax it down. Um, it's really helpful if you suffer from insomnia as well. I often use it if I'm struggling to get to sleep, I'll just do the body scan, I never get to my feet. Um, I'm kind of gone by that, by that stage, so I find it quite helpful for sleep as well, um, which again might help kind of tackle those kind of cycles of sleep dysregulation and anxiety and stress. Um, yeah, but that's it. I just wanted to send you off with a, <laughs> with a, with a de-stressing exercise uh, to kind of cap off this whole uh, conference weekend. That's it.